Hello future developers, welcome to another tutorial with ABCD. So today we'll be doing a flower pot. Okay, so this is what we'll be doing. Okay. So we just select a rectangle, sorry, an ellipse. Okay. And drag okay, to desired size. I'm going to give it a color value. So the eyedropper selected. Let's check. This let me get the color value. Okay. So double click on this and then okay, so 99322 is a color value. Okay, so let me go back to my main design and give it that color value by clicking on the color palette, then paste it to so control V. Okay, so also sorry, let me highlight it. Okay. So I'll click on this control C control F to copy and paste in front, then use the arrow key. To move it a bit okay so i want the intersection that's what i want to achieve okay so with the pathfinder i'm going to look for intersect okay so where these two objects intersect is what i want so i want that intersection the shape room okay so that's our intersection that's the shape we want okay so the shape of a leaf kind of a leaf okay then i'll select the rectangle then draw over Okay, so cancel. Um, let me give this color value. So let me highlight all okay. then the shape builder. Okay, so I'm going to use the shape builder. Let's see what the shape builder will do for us. Okay, so select the shape builder. Then while holding on the minor alt key, you can see the minor symbol and just click on the part you don't want. Okay, so that's what we've achieved. But one thing of the shape builder is it doesn't get the objects stuck to the objects. Okay, so after that you have to what highlight and then group them. Okay. So let's try using the um let me cancel this. Let me ungroup. Okay, so okay, so you can see what the shape builder is doing. Okay, so now let's use let me draw another rectangle across and then give it a color value. Then the eyedropper and pick this color okay. or color picker. Then let's go to the pathfinder and then use divide. Okay, so let's see what divide gives us. Okay, so I'm going to double click and see divide. You are able to move all the objects again. So double click on the parts you don't want. Okay, so I don't want this parts. I'll just click on delete. Okay. Okay, so you can see now we have so you can see now all the objects are one. Okay, so unlike the shape builder. Unlike the shape builder, you have your objects not being one, so I'll delete this. Okay. And then uh, let's do the main pots. Okay, so rectangle selected, I'm going to drag and draw. Give this white value using the color eyedropper or eye picker. So the eyedropper, okay. Control C, Control F for the leaf. Let's see something with this angles. Okay, one twenty, two seventy, or one eighty. Okay, one twenty. Okay, now rotate it. Put it here. And rotate it. Okay. So control C, control F, then use the arrow key to move it down or just drag it down. Okay, so while holding Alt, I'm going to reduce it from both sides and then stretch from the base. Okay, stretch the bit to design height. And then I'll use the, you can round in it. So click here, hold shift and click on the other side. Then just round in the base. Okay, let's give it this color. So where is the eyedropper or color picker? Okay, so eyedropper, give it this color value. Select its face. And let's give it this color value. Okay. So they self output, but let's bring this in front. So right click and then arrange, bring to front. Okay.
So let's align them. Control C, Control F. Let's see. Um, I'm just undo this rounding. Sorry. Okay. So let's use the direct selection to to taper the base. Okay. So select this. I use the left arrow key. Select here. One, two, three, four, five. Select here two. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do with our flowers. So let's multi select. Oops, let me bring this one here. Let's multi select. Okay, and then I'm going to try and reflect this. So I'll change the position. Okay, so let's reflect. And rotate it and see. It's still the same. Okay, so I want the shade. Okay. And then position it well. Okay, so if you like it this way, then it's okay. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next tutorial. Thank you.